Hi, I'm Sam. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at a piece of software that enables us to use a Android device or an iOS device or even another laptop as a secondary screen using a piece of software called Space Desk. As you can see, the uh, browser is in my main display and I'm going to drag that down into my iPad and use it as a secondary dis display. Now this is going to be useful if you are either at home and you need some more real estate or you're out on the road at a coffee shop doing some work and you need that extra screen to give you some more vision of what you're doing, some productivity help there. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to spacedesk.net. Here you'll be greeted with a website and you're going to want to download the driver for your system. In my case, it's going to be Windows 10 11. And you're going to want to select your system type. For me, it's a 64 bit. Click download. Once that's downloaded, you're going to want to open the installation file. Go through the installation process. I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed. But once you've uh, installed that, you're going to want to click start. Sp type space desk. And he will be greeted with the Space Desk Driver Console. Now it's important that you go through these settings and make sure you have the correct options checked for the device you're using. I'm using a iOS device, so I click on the USB cable driver. Make sure that local area network, USB cable for Android, USB cable for iOS is selected. And make sure that the console itself here is on. Now, Stick around because I'm going to show, give you another tip if you've got connectivity issues, if it keeps dropping out over Wi-Fi, etc. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to eliminate that step. Now we're going to head over to our iOS device and install Space Desk from the App Store. Right, once you're on your iPad or Android device, you're going to want to go to your App Store or Play Store if you're on Android and search for Space Desk. I already have this installed, but you're going to want to download and install this app. Once you've got the app installed, you're going to want to open the app and then you'll be greeted with the Space Desk Viewer screen. Now, if you're lucky enough, you should, your machine that you are running Space Desk on, your PC, should display here. As you can see, mine has my main machine listed here. You want to click on that. Once you've opened it and clicked on the PC, you, you're, you should eff effectively be greeted with the same background as your PC. Right, if you've done all of them steps correctly, you should now be able to mirror your PC screen on your iPad or Android device. Now, it's worth mentioning, once you at this step, at this stage, you're going to want to configure where the iPad sits in orientation. So. If you right click on your desktop, click display settings, you'll be greeted with this screen where you can change the orientation of where the iPad sits so that when you move the cursor down, it will be in alignment with where the iPad actually sits. So literally all you do is drag and drop the smaller screen in this instance, click apply, and then that the orientation will follow the cursor. As you can see, I'm dragging it down and it is going into the iPad. Um, if you are facing connectivity problems over Wi-Fi, then you will really, ideally, you want to be using the cable function from your PC into the iPad. So I've got a cable here. If I plug this in, come out, this click disconnect on the iPad, it will then give me an option to use the cable. USB cable, before connecting USB cable, enable USB cable iOS option in Space Desk. That's coming back onto the console here. If you come over to USB cable iOS, make sure that the option for USB cable is selected. When you next plug it in, you will be then connected via the cable and not relying on the Wi-Fi. If you have unsteady Wi-Fi, then it may have connectivity issues. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any comments, please leave them below and I'll try my best to help out.
Thanks for watching.